And now to major news in the PG&E crisis tonight. Just hours ago, PG&E announced they have reached a $13.5 billion settlement on all wildfire claims from 2017, 2018, and the 2015 Butte fire. Take a look. It's the first step towards some sort of justice for wildfire survivors like Robin Sousa. She's a campfire survivor now living in a trailer on her friend's side yard. She has been pleading for accountability. They seem to have admitted at least to some degree that there was faulty equipment there and it doesn't sound like they took the proper procedures. You know, um, would anyone else in that situation, um, if it wasn't PG&E and they did something like that, would they be accountable? So what next? Well, our Brendan Riddiman puts this multi-million dollar settlement into perspective. This is a big deal, but it isn't a done deal. There's a federal judge who's going to have to sign off on whatever final plan PG&E uses to try to get itself out of bankruptcy. It's the biggest dollar amount deal anybody's reached with PG&E. The next biggest one was from the insurance companies who've already had to pay out, they say, $20 billion to people who lost their homes in these fires. And in that story, you can get a little sense of what's happening to these fire survivors. The insurance companies had to settle that $20 billion for 11 billion and a similar thing is happening here so as much as pg&e is trying to portray itself as doing right by these fire survivors it is an unquestionable fact that these fire survivors would have gotten a lot more money if pg&e was a perfectly solvent normal business but it isn't it's in bankruptcy right now because of the problems it's had with its fire grit for more of brendan's exclusive reporting on this topic head to firepowermoney.com